Welcome to the 100% shiny fairy type Pokemon locations video. If you're looking for any specific Pokemon, just check out the timestamps in the video, which should help you just jump right to the shiny hunt that you want to do. And if you're looking for other types, we have an entire playlist that you can go ahead and check out for the Teal Mask and even for the base game in Paldea in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your picnic and let's go ahead and make ourselves a fairy sandwich so you can get some cool fairy Pokemon to start spawning. So for this sandwich, my recipe is going to be simply just a tomato and two salty herbas. But as usual, please comment down below the sandwich recipe that is easier or a different one than mine. And the really important thing is make sure to make your sandwich right, because if you happen to have made an error, then you will not be getting the following rewards, which are going to be at the top right after you make the sandwich. So just make sure it says sparkling power fairy as well as encounter power fairy. Those are the ones you definitely need when you make a sandwich. For some Pokemon, you might have to do what we call the zoom in trick where you can see it to identify if they are shiny or not. To do that, you simply open up your home menu, click on their system settings, go all the way down to system, and then go ahead and turn on the zoom button. Once you do that, double tap home and you should be able to zoom in. For example, see green ears on Cleffa instead of brown. Let's get hunting. The first hunt that we're going to be doing is going to be for Carbink. What you want to do is head towards the crystal pool area. And once you arrive there, we're going to head towards the secret cave, cross the bridge, and then wrap around and enter into this cave. Now, do not drop all the way to the bottom. We're going to go a little bit slow here. So just, you know, just glide down like this and you're going to jump into that cave right over here, just like that. And then just hop off your mount once you get in there. Once you're in this section, you'll realize that there are actually quite a few carbinks in here. And the shiny that you're going to be looking for is going to be colored like this. So it's going to be a lot darker and it's going to be very obvious when you're looking at the other ones and comparing it. Once you enter inside, what you want to do is set up a picnic. You kind of want to just move towards the center until you can. And when you do, immediately press Y to exit right out of it. And once you're done, you want to immediately just back out all the way to these stones, make sure to not fall off. And then when you back out and you should be able to see a luster of these car big spawn back in. So look at that, a huge amount of them there. So that's going to help your shiny chances go up quite a bit. So just basically come back in here, rinse and repeat, get a picnic going, pack up your bags as fast as possible, just like this, do it over. Go back out so it's going to be a little bit of practice come back here and then they should all spawn in in a cluster you're good and then go right back in there you go so keep doing this until you get a shiny and finally i was able to get it but not in my pokemon scholar copy but in my pokemon violet copy look how good it looks this is why you subscribe look how amazing it is let me know how fast you can grab the shiny carbink and what ball you would use. I probably should have used a moon ball. A very interesting spot to go ahead and hunt fairy Pokemon will be in the timeless woods. I, I sometimes end up calling this the timeless forest. So if I accidentally say that, you know, because <laughs> it is a forest. Anyway, uh, so the Pokemon that you'll be able to hunt here is going to be Mimikyu, the Impy Dimp line, as you can see over here, that will eventually become our uh, Grim Snarls. And we also have a very special Pokemon that does spawn throughout this area, and that is going to be a third evolution Hatterene. So if you're trying to hunt Grim Snarls and Impy Dimps, I noticed they are the most common ones here. There is a spot in Paldea where you can also get them, and that's going to be in the Tag Tree Thicket, which we did cover in another video in the other playlist. Uh, for that base game. Anyway, so basically what you want to do is look for these shinies for Impidimp. It's going to be very obvious. They're not going to look the same at all. Grimstar is going to be completely white. You do get families of them spawning in. So please don't move too fast here either because solo spawns will always get glitchy when there's a lot of spawns in an area. Hatterenes do spawn towards more of the edges. So if you want to Hunt Hatterings, I suggest running around the borders. Just go at a, a decent pace where it gets things to spawn in. And the pre-evos of Hatterene are not going to spawn because they are not fairy typing. That's the reason why Hatterene's the fairy type of that whole entire evolution line. So good luck hunting here. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get a Hatterene here because I don't actually think I have one. And there is the shiny. <laughs> no way. <laughs> nice and shiny and caught. If you want shiny luck just like that, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this and let me know which shiny typing you want to see next. So this location is the Gracious Stones, which is going to be to the east of the Paradise Barrens and to the west of the Timeless Woods. So right over here, dead center, is where you're going to be able 
to hunt down the entire line for Gardevoir, all the evolutions. And you can see that we got the middle stage evolution. We have Ralts that spawns over here and we have Gardevoirs as well. So if you're trying to hunt any of these Pokemon, it might be a great place. I personally think this is better than Paldea since they're literally just everywhere here in a giant open field. They have family spawns. And the only thing that you really have to identify on any of these Pokemon is simply going to be the blue on them. That's it. Just look for blue on their hats and you should be able to get one. Simply just rotate in the area. Of course, if you don't want to run around and you just want to take your chances and see what you get right in front of you, you can go ahead and just do picnic resets in front of them. And then you get a completely different spawns showing up just like this. If you have a hard time seeing something and you're trying to look for a little blue, just make sure to do the zoom in trick and that should help you identify what's in front of you. Okay, there's a shiny. And I think Great Ball would actually look good on this. I will not use a Quick Ball. Nice. A really good area to hunt cutie flies is going to be at the Mosfell Confluence. This is a great area and you're probably going to want to use your zoom in trick to help you distinguish some shiny. So zoom in. If you see a yellow color, that's a shiny. That's a pink color. Uh, pink colors are the shiny ones. Sorry, I got so distracted with my words. That is a yellow one. That is a yellow one. That is a shiny. So um, I literally just teleported here for this to show up. So we have a cutie fly. You also get its evolution rebone base showing up here. So I think this would be a great spot to do picnic resets. Let me just go ahead and and uh. You know go ahead and get that shiny wow that was not expected in this video but you know what it's a very good luck video for shiny hunting and that's why you all subscribe to the channel because it's that easy for us to get shinies got it you fly in a quick ball like i was saying the picnic reset might be your best option to do in this game so just go ahead and hit picnic just like this as soon as you hit y it should be easier to get these respawns uh in the area so just get out like that and we should have more show up they'll spawn in quite slowly there we go. Just trying to spawn in and just really zoom in and look for that pink color. Or you can just run around the area. It's totally up to you. So keep doing this until you get a shiny. The Pokemon that we're going to be hunting next is going to be Cleffa and Clefairy. And all you have to do is go to the Crystal Pool area and just rotate nonstop around. That's pretty much it. You're going to get a bunch of Cleffas that spawn solo. You'll sometimes get families with the Clefairy and some Cleffas around it, sometimes mixed and matched. And all you're really looking for here is green ears. That is going to be your number one identifier for being able to figure out this shiny Pokemon. If you have a hard time and they are in the distance, you can do the zoom in trick, which will help you out quite a bit or you could go to a higher spot and do picnic resets but pretty much you could just keep circling around this entire area until you find your shiny there's also a secondary spot to hunt cleffas and that's going to be in the secret cave in the crystal pool area so you're just going to go to the secret cave around drop down over here and then go all the way down now, this is a fun trick i came up with i think you guys might like it so then we're going to drop down further to the base level. And then what you're going to see once we get out of here at the bottom floor is a bunch of Clefa, right? Whatever. It's fine. So I just like to go past them. Maybe auto battle, get rid of some of them. And a really cool hunting trick that you can do. It's kind of almost an AFK, sort of AFK. Is send out your, your Pokemon to go fight them all. So my Iron Valiant, for example, will just go and... I can just kind of chill. Now, remember, there's a hole behind you, so don't walk all the way back. But as you move further back, new groups of them will start to spawn. And all you have to pay attention to is the green one. So a whole bunch spawn in. Your Iron Valiant will go ahead and take them out. And then when you start to see them uh, lower in numbers, just make sure to back up a little bit more and you'll get more spawning in front of you. So it's kind of a move up with your Iron Valiant as it knocks them all out kind of like just chillax afk and then when the amount starts to get lower you can just kind of back out and by doing this trick i was actually able to get a shiny to spawn as you can see it's right over there right in front of me and yeah it was just it was pretty relaxing it wasn't really a hardcore shiny hunt either so good luck with your cleffa now i covered this in our ghost video but mimikyu is also a fairy type pokemon and you have to head over to the infernal pass right over here in order to hunt the Mimikyu's. Now there are so many walking around and the shiny is difficult to see sometimes. So make sure you're just looking at a group of them and seeing the oddball out as this is the shiny Pokemon. Now, the cool part about Mimikyu using the fairy sandwich is that it's literally gonna be here during the day and during the night. Like 
the spawns will be everywhere for Mimikyu. They're only going to be solo spawns, so remember not to run really fast and just be in a spot where you, maybe you could just get a bunch of them to spawn. Maybe pull a picnic in a good spot where you could see a bunch of them and then just basically reset them over and over again. Luckily for me, I was able to get shiny Mimikyu at nighttime using this sandwich, and it just feels good to hunt Mimikyu with the fairy sandwich, and it's definitely superior as you can hunt it 24-7, and yep, and that's how I got my shiny Mimikyu. Let me know if you get yours during the day or night. Now that you got all your fairy type shiny Pokemon in the teal mask, you should check out this video over here.